so Bron Custer here. We started a few hours last night just getting everything prepped and tore down. So that was step one, taking and disassembling everything and, and preparing it ready to go. Before you get started on the install of the portals or before you start taking anything apart, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is put it into brake maintenance mode. And to do that, you're gonna to wanna to turn the key on, but the engine will be off. You're gonna press in on the accelerator pedal and you're going to um, push in on this one to disengage the, uh, like you're disengaging brake. Then you're gonna press on the brake pedal, release, and then cycle the key off and right back on. Then you'll hear the, the you'll hear the rear brake caliper put in brake maintenance mode. Then you look here, we'll go okay, okay, check brake system. It says brake maintenance mode, okay. So that's it. That's as easy as that. We're gonna go ahead and start the install now. So follow along. Next step is I recommend having uh, four jack stands. You're gonna want some tall jack stands so you can get a little bit of height on there. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get it up elevated on four jack stands and take all the wheels off. This is one of our wheels that are specifically designed for the portals. We're gonna go ahead and remove the brake caliper. You're gonna need 18 millimeter. Again, we're gonna then swing it off to the side. You'll need a 10 millimeter wrench right here to take this off as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and take the front rotor off and we'll get to the hub assembly. So we'll get that point. Again, 18 millimeter, there's four bolts back there. You're gonna to wanna to save those four bolts for uh, later on in the process. We're not gonna use this hub assembly anymore, but we do need the caliper. All I want to do is, is probably go put it on the press. No, it just finally gave loose. So this is the point where we're going to go ahead and just remove the um, dust guard. You're not going to need that anymore. You can put that away if you want to install it again later, throw it away, sell it, do whatever you want. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, wheel speed sensor. This will just get taken, put out of the way for now. Uh, we're gonna get things kind of prepped up. So then I'm, I'm just taking and making sure it's it's free of any debris, dirt. It's re ready and prepped for us to go to that next step. couple things to do that the uh, you took off eight bolts off of the front hub assembly and those eight bolts are going to get trimmed down a little bit to be able to mount into the portal in addition to that we will go ahead and cut the CV axle down now note on this not all CV axles will need to be cut uh, the aftermarket ones are already shorter. We'll show you on this one here. We've got the, the Spicer Extreme CVs. They're already at the right length. The stock axles, you'll need to cut about eight millimeters, which puts the total length at 33 millimeters from the shank to the end of where your threads end. This here is your ABS tone ring. These need to be pressed on.
the four bolts, three of them longer than the others. We're gonna go ahead and pull this gear. Just set it off to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and mount this. Mount this in there, all right. Amy, if you'll hand me red Loctite on this bolt first. And then just go ahead and put them on the rest of those four, or three. So in the back, they're gonna both uh, be the 54 millimeter. In the front, top is gonna be 54 millimeter. Front bottom is gonna be the uh, 48 millimeter. But we're gonna just apply a, a nice liberal amount of flange sealant on there. going to fill it until oil starts to come out of there just like on a differential. We're using SAE 8090 gear oil. there where there's that little notch you're just going to take on the back of that nut and you're going to put a little dimple in it. Before we go on to the next step, just go by each portal, do a visual check. So our next step is to go ahead and install our reservoirs. You're going to want to choose a placement for your reservoir. Most of the time in the rear, we've placed it right, right here. All right, two on each one is all that's needed. In there, looks good. 
So we're going to go ahead and just take all these off. Tighten. Put those on tight. Go ahead and set that in place. Go ahead and uh, go through the back. So on the top of this, there's uh, two small holes. In this case, you're gonna wanna put some barb fittings in there and get some small hose. You're gonna wanna take those hoses, um, loop them together, probably put a loop in it. We don't ever want it to pull moisture from you know going through water or something into this and then down into the portal. So. Put it on there. So now we're in the next section. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this clip out. Set it down, that'll go back in. You're gonna take a 13 millimeter and you're gonna loosen this up here. Now you're gonna lose some brake fluid and that'll be part of, you know, we're gonna be flushing the whole system and stuff. Go ahead and pull that loose. Pull that fitting out of the way. You're gonna take your new one and go right back up in there immediately. There's a square notch to get it lined up lined in okay you're gonna keep that that crush ring and put it onto this one and pull this off and you got another crush ring don't lose it keep it lined up now well, dropped it try and lose as little out of the caliper as you can so that you don't have to do near as much bleeding So we went ahead and added blue Loctite to our uh, caliper bolts. We're gonna go ahead and put those back on there. Let's go ahead and apply our uh, line back on. In fact, we're gonna just go around real quick and install all of our rotors in place. So there's two lines where it comes into the manifold right here. I'm gonna go right up above that. And this just uh, will make it to where we don't have as much oil draining all over the place. Okay. So the process is gonna be identical for right and left. The lines that you have, you're able to bend and, and bring them uh, how you want. So we're gonna go ahead and show it on the uh, left side of the vehicle. That's all we need that in for now. We'll go ahead and pop these off. So part of what you're gonna be doing is not only replace the brake line, but we're gonna undo all of these clips. We're gonna cut all those clips loose so that we can extend out the cables for the electric brake module and for ABS sensor. So I'm just gonna take and cut these zip ties. So that comes loose. I'm gonna cut this zip tie. I'm gonna cut this zip tie. Now I can pull these zip ties out and, uh, and reuse these. I'm gonna pull this clip out as well. That clip out. So we just gained a whole lot of length that can then be reattached as we need to. All right, now with that, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our brake caliper. Make sure you keep your, your crush washers. Set that aside. 
this brake line is no longer needed for the distance. And go ahead and do our, our routing right now. So we'll go ahead and install this fitting back in place. Now with that, you're gonna take in and shape it, route it the way you want. So we're gonna come around this corner right here. We're gonna come around up on top and go ahead and feed it through that point right there. So what I like to do is, before I do anything else, go ahead and uh, do all of our, our rerunning and cable management. Unhook our brake. There we go. All right. I'm put that down in there so we're not just dealing with that. Right? So I'm going to cut back the tape on this to gain myself some more length on this harness. So all we're doing is gaining us some extra length to plug in in the new location. And we're gonna go ahead and cut loose some of these uh, clips that will go back on the Bronco so we can reattach them where we want. I'm gonna take the tape now and tape that harness back together so the wires aren't exposed. We're gonna go ahead and remount or mount these calipers just like we did in the front. And uh, in this case, again, I'm replacing the brake pads. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get everything mounted up. And uh, that will be uh, the complete for this phase of the brakes. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's informative. We tried to go about this in a way that gave you the most information to make it as simple as possible after we've kind of gone through this process many times. So that concludes the install of the portals. It does not conclude the uh, bleeding of brakes. We're gonna do that as its own separate video because there's enough involved in that, right Amy? Oh yeah. So that video, you'll check it out separately. But uh, anyways, if you haven't already, Guys, please smash that like and subscribe button.